Daphne Caruana Galizia was murdered five years ago, and yesterday, on the anniversary of her death, everyone seemed to want to honor her life. But are we truly entitled to do so? The truth is that story is ugly and dirty, and it has left a long-lasting stain on Malta's democracy, Malta's society, and that government legacy. But it is also a very depressing story because it has revealed the state, the real state of democracy and media freedom across the whole of the European Union. And sadly, worse, it is a never-ending story. Because since Daphne Garret Caruana Calizia's tragic killing, other journalists were murdered in other member states, and numerous others have received threats. The context is always the same. Courageous journalists who are investigating corruption cases linked to high-level individuals in government. Construction industry, shipping, energy supply, golden visa. The common thing behind these attacks is always the link between criminal organization, politicians and bribery. And what good has been done to help journalists? Well, let's see. In Malta, the police inquiry was blocked from advancing and the legislation to protect journalists is still not in place. And for the rest of Europe, I have never met journalists who are so afraid in Greece. In France, you can be deten detained by the police just for covering a demonstration. And in Poland and Hungary, you can be spied on like in the time of the Stasi. Media freedom is not good in European Union.